What up, people? It's Annie Tier here. We're reviewing Inuyasha episodes. Crap, I completely forgot the episode titles. Hold up, guys. Give me one quick second. Annie Tier, you're being unprofessional. The hell are you doing? You should have known this before you even started recording. Well, you know what? I'm doing it now, so kiss my rear. Alright? I'm doing it now. Uh, let's see. How many episodes is. Okay. Okay, okay, so th these are going to be episodes 39, 40, and 41. Okay, okay. that That's the episodes. So we are reviewing Inuyasha episodes uh, 39, 40, and 41. And these were pretty nice episodes. I definitely enjoyed it. We got to see more of uh, Naraku's reinforcements. They're just as conniving and sickening as him. It looks like, though, not all his subordinates are completely under his control, if you know what I mean. Especially the one named Kagura. She was not amused or was, or was having Naraku's crap when he, he used her to pe basically test the, capa the, full capa cap bleh, the full capabilities of Inuyasha's Tensaiga. And now that he was able to confirm it by allowing uh, Kagura, that's uh, his subordinate's name, testing out the limits of his sword he's like okay i kind of get the gist of what's more or less where i i measure up to him how much of a threat level he is and well kagura's not having that he wasn't having his shit he was like are you serious man so you use me to test his strength when you know pretty well i could have died like i have to admit that was a low move and as usual naraku throughout these episodes one low move after another, purposely pitting uh, Koga and Inuyasha to fight against each other, setting up Inuyasha, making him look like he was the one that wiped out uh, Koga's wolf tribe members from the northern tribe? Was it the north or south tribe? I don't remember. But yeah, he basically framed Inuyasha to make it look like he killed his brother in. And honestly, like, come on, man. Are you serious? Naraku, when are you ever going to grow a pair and fight fight man to man? How about you go up and face your, face the person you want to fight, want to get rid of so badly like a man, instead of hiding like a coward? I'm just saying. You, 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 Naraku is definitely not human anymore because he doesn't, because he's not man enough to face Sinuyasha one on one because he knows his, his booty is going to get wrecked. Like, Inuyasha's gonna handle that ass. So, yeah. Yeah, he's hiding because he's afraid. Pure coward. Now, am I saying Naraku is a bad character? Not necessarily. I just don't like his ways. And I will have to admit, he is smart. Naraku is smart. There are certain things that he done in the past where that were eh, kind of questionable. Be like, bro, are you some are you some kind of stupid? Are you some kind of stupid? Come on now, but yeah, there has been some questionable motives and questionable like ideas he's done in the past where like, bro, that was kind of dumb. But um, lately his plans have becoming more elaborate and a lot more smarter than I would expect him. To and I will admit, like, I'm I'm pretty impressed, but it's just at the same time, I can't condone these type of actions because he's a... I hate cowardly characters. Believe it or not, guys, like, I'm not saying I don't like characters that are afraid or anything like Deku from My Hero Academia or, uh, or basically Wimpy Care. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying um, I do not like characters that act very cowardly yet they talk big you know what I mean like Deku in the beginning of My Hero Academia he was a scared little kid but here's the thing even if he was scared he still faced his fears head-on he still showed courage something Naraku lacks and will never have because he is a spineless wimp that's why there's a difference between being a coward and being afraid it's okay to be afraid it's in my eyes, it's not okay to be a coward. 
which once again I will, will not put up with. Talk all that mad trash about being the big dog and next thing you know you're running away tail between your legs or you're out hiding somewhere while your minions do the dirty work and even your minions are so low like bro well they ca they came from him so it makes sense it it is what it is but still once again Naraku is just honestly in my opinion Naraku is the worst character in this show I mean if you want to go more detailed I would have to say Miroku is up there too. I'm sorry guys, but this dude is a huge freaking perv. Not to mention, he he asked an 11 year old, would you bear my children? Are you serious? You ask an 11 year old little girl if she could, if she could bear your children. Bruh, you are gross. You are disgusting. What the fuck, man? How old are you? Like, freaking 20? Like, 25? 20? Like, you look about my age. Unless, apparently, you're younger. Like, 15, and it's like... Mm, no, it's still gross. So I'm like, Naraku, my god, man. You're fucking disgusting. <laughs> You're fucking gross, dude. That's gotta be the most disturbing thing I've ever seen you do, and I gotta admit, I don't like you after that. I don't. You're you're disturbing to me now after that. So, yeah. To those of you guys that like Naraku, um, uh, Naraku, Miroku, dude's a pedophile. I don't care what you say. I'd be like, but he didn't put his hands on her. He asked a child if he can bear. Dude, she was 11, 11 damn years old. He asked that of a kid. A kid. That doesn't know anything about children's uh, sex or any of that. What the hell is wrong with you, my boy? She's just a child. My goodness, man. At this point, Naraku is looking better than Miroku. I mean, I, I, I mean, to an extent, it's like, I know he probably meant it as a joke or whatever. Or didn't think much of it, but still, you shouldn't have uttered those words to a kid, bro. Bad move. Bad move right there. Um, what else? Naraku may be smart on some things, but I will think I will have to admit on other things also, he is kind of an idiot still. Back it up, back it up, pitchforks and knives down. The reason why I say this is because if you really think about it, he's only piling up more enemies that are gonna have him on their shit list. Like he made first it was Inuyasha. Miroku, Sango, Sango, who else? Kikyo, who else? I guess Koga is the latest one, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Excuse me. But yeah, Koga. Koga. He made five enemies. Five. My boy, you're only making it worse for yourself if you keep making, if you keep going like this, a lot of people are going to come after you, come after you. They're going to kill you and they're all going to band together to take you out and you being the coward, the spineless coward that you are, you wouldn't want this yet you're only piling up more people that are going to sought you out. I'm just saying not a smart move this is why you handle your business don't involve others because then you have trail back you have liabilities that will come after you and make you pay for your actions later on it's bad it's already bad on you that you have kikyo and inuyasha on you miroko on you but now you added two others to the list sango and koga and kiki well i already said kikyo like 
bro you're making it so bad to where why don't you just do it yourself are you truly that weak you just got a new body my boy you have a new body that's pretty dang powerful if your body is as strong as it is why don't you use it to take down your enemies instead of creating situations to where you have these random people do your work for you and then you backstab them making them want to come after you and kill you because now you have the entire wolf tribe after you you have a whole tribe it was no longer like a small amount of people now it's a certain amount of people strong people oh Shishomaru, I forgot. You even screwed over Shishomaru. Two dogs are after your ass. <laughs> and a tribe. A reincarnated priestess. A priestess. A demon hunter. A monk. Like, a tribe. Like, my god, what are you doing? You're making it worse for yourself. The only way I can see you getting someone, anyone getting away with something like this is if they're so OP that it don't matter. If you were so OP that would be like, eh, I don't care if they're my enemies, I can wipe them out. I'll be like, okay, you're that confident in your strength. But are you, apparently, you're not that confident in your strength if you're constantly having others do your work for you while you hide like a little wimp. If you're that afraid to face your enemies, why are you creating new ones? You're making it worse for yourself, stupid. <laughs> Seriously, what is wrong with you? Like, what the freak, man? I'm just saying, Naraku is stupid in that aspect. He's smart on one thing, but he's very dumb in another. Anyway, guys, let's just get to the questions. If you were a demon forged from Naraku's flesh, you have your own life. You're not bound by any influence other than Naraku, other, other than him holding your life in your hand. Would you willingly obey someone that was for that you were forged from? <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Anyway, ah, ooh. like I said. Would you willingly obey, worship, and allow yourself to be ordered by this one person that was forged from your flesh? Or would you rebel against him? And if you were to rebel or align yourself with him, why and how? Explain that for question one. Question two. In the Inuyasha series, if you were to be a part of an existing tribe that already exists in this series, or invent your own tribe and be a part of it, what would it be and why? Simple questions. Once again, you do not have to answer these questions if you don't want to. These are optional. It's just to have a conversation between me and my subscribers in the comment section below. Remember, do not be rude. Be polite. I have zero tolerance for negativity. Depending on the gravity of negativity you are, like on how rude you are, your comment will simply just be deleted if 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 the how rude you were wasn't that wasn't that big of a deal, but it was still rude. But if you take it too far, you are going to be um, your comment is going to be deleted first of all, and then you are going to be banned. If you don't want to be banned. If you don't want that kind of trouble, then don't start trouble. Point blank period. Do not start trouble if you don't want trouble. Are we clear about this? I always give this warning into each and every one of my videos. Do not test my patience. Okay? You want respect? Give respect. If you want to be good with me, as well as everyone here, be respectful. 
and that goes to how rude you are against others. I do not want any negativity on this con channel. Once again, I have zero tolerance for that. Don't be a fool. Okay? Alright then. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, sub if you haven't already. It really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys as my guildmates. And I'll see you guys all in future reactions. Peace.